Channel 5 in depth tonight. There are more than 350,000 people in Tennessee acting as caregivers to someone with Alzheimer's or dementia. Many of them just taking care of a family member. But with more cases of dementia expected as baby boomers age, News Channel 5's Jason Lamb takes a look at one family story that took place in the middle of this pandemic. Today is a day out on the golf course that John LeGrant would have loved. He'd probably say, give me a nice pretty day and all my buddies around and we're talking it up and causing trouble. But even on a day as clear as this, sometimes for John's yeah. daughter Amy. Well, this is my dad with um, his dad. The air is weighed down with guilt. I still doubt myself sometimes. In 2010, my journey began. John with, oh, was diagnosed with dementia 10 I, years ago. And then it just got to the point where he was, it was too challenging for him to be able to play. John and his family had to make a decision as it took more than just his family to take care of him. And after the COVID outbreak, they felt uncomfortable with having a health care worker keep entering their home, possibly infecting both Amy's dad and mom. I said, Dad, I need you to make a decision for the family. I need you to make a decision to keep mom and I safe. And that's when he made a decision that he would move into memory care. Amy knew the risks that came with care facilities and COVID. He wanted to uh, ride in a fighter jet, so he got the chance to do that. A risk that became all too real three weeks after John arrived. He did end up getting COVID. Five days after the COVID diagnosis, John died. We had a lot of guilt around that. Like, did we make the right decisions? But we won't uh, get there without all of the help. Amy says as millions of aging baby boomers are projected to be diagnosed with dementia and Alzheimer's disease in the coming years, she wishes she would have had more help to guide a seemingly impossible decision. I just need resources. I need somebody to kind of sit in my seat and say, how do we make an already heart-wrenching experience a little bit easier? They are conversations that Amy admits are tough for anyone. This is my dad um, with his two sisters. But she says uh, resources and help during the next pandemic can help everyone focus not on the disease, <laughs> but on the person. There's still these amazing people who have lived these wonderful lives. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. There is help if you are caring for a loved one with Alzheimer's or dementia. The Alzheimer's Association offers a free 24-7 helpline. You can call 1-800-272-3900. We'll have that number on our website, newschannel5.com.